Harry Lalso, proprietor of Lalso Enterprise of Lot 12, Section F, D. Edward West Bank, Burbies, said at around 1 hour 45 on Wednesday, he heard a loud sound which woke him up. Of an investigation, he noticed two persons in his yard. I sat around quarter two. I heard I thought somebody pelt the, the bus, you know, and I get up immediately. When then the veranda there, when the veranda got a small space between the shed and the step to the place where they break. Well, I can't see the place where they break the cars that pass the train. I saw about a person just run to the fence. When I go to move, I see another somebody smaller run across the fence and then the person come back. When you come back, I want to know what happened. Because you can't see good, you know the distance. And then, let's say about 10 seconds or so, the person going back. The 80 year old Lalso, who was at home with his 78 year old wife, then armed himself with a cutlass to go downstairs. These guys were trying to get upstairs. Well, I presume it had to try to break the gate to go upstairs. They couldn't get to the lock, but the lock from the inside. And then they break the hinge at the bottom. It so happened. Talking to my neighbor through here, he will really use his phone and call. When he called, I don't know if he had the police or not, but they, um, they were passing, the patrol was passing, clapping behind and they stopped there. On December 23rd, bandits broke into the store and removed close to $1 million in cash and other valuables. At the time, the businessman had placed a quantity of money and other documents into a bag in preparation for a visit to the sea the following morning to conduct business. In November 2019, bandits also broke into the building and removed the man's firearm and almost $1 million in valuables. Baba, I don't have a weapon. The gun, the previous time they carried away, the police know about it. And I had to write to the commander at Fort Wellington, the assistant commander, and explain the reason why they should give me a gun. Do you feel safe? No. If somebody come and offer me a good thing, I sell out everything, but you see me get properties at the end. This is a mistake I make. I come and invest, buy land and so. Mm -hmm. Now to sell it, people don't have money. You see? They don't have money. And we hardly doing business now any sales. Look now I watch them the other shopping so people don't get money. The estate is not working. For the evening news, Andrew Carmichael.